Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's. Today, taking on another fan-owned club, uh, Portsmouth, Pompey. Portsmouth, for those of you who don't know, uh, were up in the Premier League for many, many years. Uh, their finances completely collapsed, and now they're in 24th in League One. Uh, they went all the way down to League Two. They essentially were, were bought by their supporters. Uh, and ever since then, they've been slowly rising back up. It is a story inspired in a lot of ways by AFC Wimbledon and one that uh, that I, I hope uh, Portsmouth supporters feel very proud of. Boy, it was great. To, I, I just heard my name. You just said, like, the, the announcer was just like, John Green! And then all the people at Kingsman were like, ah! It was a great feeling. I, I mean, I know that I'll never have that feeling in real life, but whatever. I hope I do someday. It's probably unlikely that I'm going to be a professional football player. By the way, I've been calling myself Manager uh, Asiosi when, in fact, my name is clearly Mr. Managerino. And I, so that's so much better. And I apologize for not noticing that earlier. I am Mr. Managerino. Uh, I, I took Rafo out of goal because, you know, there's only so long that a joke can last. And Rafo is 17 and I am an old man and I am nervous. OK, so here's the deal. Today, uh, I'm answering a, uh, a problem from another Project for Awesome donor. Thank you to all the people who donated the Project for Awesome. As I thought it was a very interesting problem that Chris presented me with. This is a quote. You've previously stated your basic agreement with the statement, those who don't study history are doomed to repeat it, but also that you unequivocally believe that humanity is doomed to a relatively imminent collapse. How do you reconcile those two philosophies? Um, well, I mean, I, I, first off, I think you've slightly uh, mischaracterized my position on the future of humanity. I do not think that humanity is doomed to an imminent collapse. Uh, I, in fact, I think it... Here's, here's what I think. History... I, I do believe that... So I do believe that history is doomed... Uh, those who don't study history are doomed to repeat it. I also think that those who do study history a lot of times are doomed to repeat it because a lot of what happens in history uh, doesn't have that, that much to do with not knowing history. It has to do with uh, human nature and our responses to big forces and stuff like that and the way that social structures organize themselves, the way that, that power tends to concentrate, etc. Uh, that said, I do not, I, I actually am quite optimistic about the medium term future of humanity as a species. Uh, I think, and I think that things are, are getting better. I, th I think human life is getting, ha has gotten much, much better uh, over the last, especially over the last 200 years, but also uh, to some extent, to some extent b before that. Uh, b but I think uh, what's happened in the last few decades has been probably the greatest success in the history of the human species. Uh, death rates by violence have gone down so much so so much uh, just an astonishing amount uh infant mortality has declined by almost half just in the last 25 years which is completely unprecedented at any point in human history far fewer mothers die in childbirth than at any time in human history and fewer people live in absolute poverty fewer people uh death from malnutrition is way down uh the the death of course is not the only consequence of malnutrition and the other consequences of malnutrition including uh stunting uh, some, of, some of the brain development problems that, that can accompany malnutrition are less common than they were uh, a, a decade ago or two decades ago or also at any time in human history. Uh, so I, I and I, I, I see no reason why those trends can't continue. Uh, I, I think we are things are getting better in a lot of important ways. There are also ways in which things are getting worse, which are also real. Uh, I am concerned about some of those some of those ways. I am extremely concerned about climate change and the ways that it's going to destabilize, especially the, the lives of the people who are most vulnerable on Earth, people who live in impoverished countries and people who don't have access to the, um, to the kinds of technological innovations and healthcare systems that, uh, that, that those of us living in rich, rich countries do. And I'm very concerned about that. Uh, there's other stuff I'm concerned about. When I... I when I say that humanity is going to collapse, what I mean is that, like, our species is temporary, like every other species that ever lived on Earth, and uh, that, that there will be a future without, without humans, and that that future, I, I think it is worth noting, that was the kind of save that Long just made that I do not have confidence Rafa could have made, but Rafa's only 17. 
I, I have a lot of confidence in um in in a in a short term. I do not have any confidence in us long term because every other species has gone extinct. And also because I think you know he, Oh it's gotta be! Oh what a great pass! And then for some reason Ball John Green chose not to attack the ball. Ball John Green, come on. That was such phenomenal wimbly wombly play until the very last moment. That was poor from Frankenstein. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I don't. Uh, I don't think that. I don't think that we are at risk. I mean, we're always at risk of imminent collapse. And in some ways, the more deeply interconnected the human species gets, the more, you know, the more cata potentially catastrophic those threats become. So you know, like uh, the threat of a global pandemic, for instance, is is very real. And because of how interconnected people are today, it would be extremely, extremely bad if it happened. Um, but I also think like our healthcare system our, and our ability to respond to pandemics, our ability to develop vaccines quickly, that's never been better than it is now. So I, 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 am, I, am, mostly, uh, I am mostly hopeful about the medium term future of humanity. The, and the things, that, the things that concern me, um, and, and then there are, some, there are some history repeating itself things that concern me. Uh, you know, move any movement toward totalitarian populism, whether it's left wing totalitarian populism, as uh, has recently been seen in Venezuela or right wing totalitarian populism. That that concerns me because uh, tearing down, uh, tearing down functioning political structures and trying to build them anew from the ground up often is disastrous you know as, as we, we saw that in the french revolution we see it we, we've seen it a lot uh we've seen it a lot we, we kind of saw it, it in some countries in the arab spring recently um it's very very difficult uh to you know once there's been sort of a wholesale oh it's got to be it's got to be john green he's almost too powerful he's almost too powerful his husband is disappointed in that shot and i am too I feel, uh, I think he tried to move to his right foot, which was maybe the, the error. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the error came from, but it was, it was definitely a mistake. Get on the ball, John Green. Let's, let's charge them down. We're moving to attacking because we believe in ourselves now. We've, we've banished the curse that shall not speak its name. Um, so... Uh, so the other thing, but but the other the, the the way I would reconcile those two worldviews if I had to, which I don't think that I do, but the way I would reconcile them is that as the as humans become more interconnected and the stakes become much higher, um, it you know a history repeating itself issue could instead of being just a really big problem, uh, you know that 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 costs tens of millions of of lives and lots of. Um, and, and lots of heartache and misery uh, could be a, a species extinction level event. So, um, you know, a, 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 a nuclear war in, you know, 1945 uh, was an, ex you know, was an extremely, uh, you know, w w was, was an extremely destructive force in human history in terms of lives lost in terms of lives affected all of that stuff it's got to be i mean that's phenomenal that is i mean that guys people say i suck at fifa but i just scored with my central defensive midfielder who has the most embarrassing celebration in the history of the wimbly womblies i don't even have a song for the guy his name is baskets i call him it's buskets but i call him baskets um he weaves when he wants, he weaves when he wants, Oriole baskets, he weaves what he wants. I mean, that's, guys, people complain, oh, he sucks at FIFA. If I suck at FIFA, how come that goal? Oh, God, I love, I love this post-curse Wimbly Wombly's were fantastic. Ugh, just phenomenal. I'm overjoyed. And we've got George Long in goal. There's no way we're giving up a goal, he said immediately before giving up a goal. Um... That's a nice interception, though, by Paul Robinson. He's 37, still at it. Uh, yeah, so that's how I would justify it, is that, is that it, it, in a more interconnected world, uh, some, I, I think repeating history might have bigger consequences 
uh, than it would have in a less interconnected world. Uh, and in a world where humans, frankly, have more power. Shoot. <laughs> well, it didn't go in. Where, where humans have more power both over uh, themselves and over the rest of the biosphere, I think our missteps can be more, uh, can, they, they can just be more severe, more extreme, and, uh, and, and more terrifying. So I, I, I guess that would be my argument for why you can be, um, yeah, why, why things might be worse, even if they're only, in a way, cir circuitous. However, again, I, I think that humans will be around for a long time. Not like, I don't think that we're in the first half of human history, probably. You know, humans have been around for around 200,000 years. I, it's possible that we'll be around another 200,000 years, but I don't know. I, I don't really think it's likely, um, if I'm being honest. But 200,000 years is, is a long time. You know, that's, uh, it's... It, it's it's incalculably long considering how long ago the um you know the Columbian exchange began or how long ago even the agricultural revolution began so if we're as far away from the end of human history as we are from the agricultural revolution that means we're only like 12,000 years away which is a long time you know no one <laughs> obviously no one who's here right now will be there to see that but I also might be underestimating the role that technology pl ends up playing in uh, the development of, the, of human society and stuff. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be it. Um, and I also, you know, I, I, and the truth is nobody, who knows? Maybe we're in the first one millionth of human history. You know, maybe we're going to figure out intergalactic star travel. Probably not, but maybe. I don't know. And so uh, part of it, I, I think, in any, in any gaming of the future... Oh, it's off the post of John Green! Oh, ho, ho, ho! he's back! He's back! He's big, he's bald, I haven't got the rest. Bald John Green, bald John Green. He doesn't have a mustache anymore, so I have to change the song. Um, but that, I mean, who was it? I was Vinny Thrill, of course it was! The man with the worst haircut in FIFA, Vinny Thrill. And then John Green, it couldn't have been easier. It, and it's and, uh, just magnificent. A magnificent finish. Uh, apologies to Portsmouth, a great club with a great history, owned by their fans, getting absolutely codwalloped. Uh, did I just make that word up? Probably not. Meredith, will you Google codwalloped, please? Uh, absolutely codwalloped uh, here against the Wimbly Womblies, and it could be more. It could be more. It could be more. Oh, it's a good far post! Oh, I think I waited a little too long. Oh, that was a poor shot. That was very poor. Yeah, it's disappointing, cause he's, but, you know, life is full of little disappointments. So, um, study history. This is my advice. Uh, pay attention to the world. Try to be, uh, uh, try to listen generously uh, to voices you disagree with. And uh, always understand that you might be wrong, which is, I think, the hardest thing, especially right now on the Internet. But I might be wrong about any of my predictions about the future of humanity. Maybe we've got five minutes left. Maybe we've got 500,000 years left. It's hard to imagine more than that, though. But I, who knows? I do know one thing, which is that Mr. Baskets has a beautiful head of hair and he scored a phenomenal goal. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.